some of the top anglers in the world and some of the not top anglers in the world get together for one thing, Pond Wars. Here's the deal, y'all. We got five two-man teams fishing for four hours, and the top five fish wins it all. My grandmother fishes like that. You know, I can't, I can't blame the guy. You can't be mad at me. And one team will take home the title of Pond Wars Grand Champ. Put the belt on me now. And as for the others, well, let's just say they're not going home empty-handed either. My boy forgot to show up today. I'm sure we look like a fool at some point. Now, this ain't all about the fish. We're going to be eating good, too, now. Y'all know when I'm here, we eat. Listen. We need to catch a fish, okay? So gear up, everybody, because we're about to be fishing and eating good here at Real Tree Fishing Pond Wars. This is Pond Wars. Anything can happen. and show these pros how it's done, you know. I usually tote a gun, but I'm toting a fishing pole today. It's gonna get ugly. This is a beautiful morning, look at this. I mean, if you was duck hunting, there wouldn't be nothing better. But we fishing, so we'll see what happens. Man, I think me and Casey about to smash. If you ask me, we gonna do something. We gonna do something. <laughs> <laughs> welcome, fellas. I want to formally welcome y'all to Pond Wars. We're here in beautiful Adel, Georgia at the Live Oak Plantation. And again, guys, this is a breezy day, but it's going to be a good day for fishing and a good day for eating. First, I got to go over some ground rules with y'all real quick. We can't have no cheating out here. Wheeler dealer. <laughs> <laughs> now look, guys, we got four hours of fishing. Now we got nets, coolers, poles, you name it. Hey, we got drinks. I think I put some snacks in your, your boat there too, Martin. I know, I know how much you like them snacks. But again, also too, guys, your top five fish is gonna be leveled out on your scale on your boat. So you need to keep track of that, your top five. This is all about the drive for five. Your best five wins. All right, guys, let's see who's fishing together. First up, we got Justin Atkins and Drew Carroll. And we got old Michael Pitts and Justin Martin. And let's don't forget about old Jacob Wheeler Dealer and Matt Harris. And you can't ever leave out old Casey Ashley and Mr. Mark Daniels Jr. And last but not least, we got Dustin Connell and Lee Ellis. All right, guys, after four hours of fishing, I'm going to collect your scales and we'll see who's winning this bad boy. All right, fellas, y'all want to see what y'all fishing for? I feel like Pitts is about to go to Talladega. Dean, finished your last. <laughs> you last. <laughs> Look at that right there. Yeah. All right, fellas, y'all know what you're fighting for here. Let's get to the ramp and let's catch some fish. Let's do it. I ain't got rod protectors on still in here. Anybody else need a bar? Jacob? <laughs> I'm just telling you. <laughs> there is no rules other than just catch them. We got a little something special lined up, a single hook. You'll see what this is for later, but it'll probably catch a big one. I got a feeling. <laughs> I'm not a superstitious kind of guy, but, but when we started the morning off with a whole bunch of bananas in the boat, I pretty much knew we were doomed. <laughs> Go, man. Look at this. Who put the bananas in our boat? Hey, them bananas don't bother me. Oh, this is they all, look, they in J Dub shit. <laughs> hey. Hey. <laughs> yeah, I just making sure my spinner bait run right. What are we doing? Are we taking off or not? <laughs> so if we can work together as a team, well, that's all it is. Nope, there's no I in team. We have to constantly both be working together to win this thing, dude. I'm telling you. It's gonna be a it's gonna be one we have to work hard to make this one happen. I know, I know how it is. These boys, 
They came to play today. I don't know if we need to throw a spinner bait or not. All right, boys. We got four hours of fishing. Let's do it. As I said, good luck. And Pond War starts. Get down. No! <laughs> Good luck, boys. Good start, good start. It didn't take long. Drew caught one right off the bat, and um, I was trying to, you know, be super, you know, power fishing. I was throwing a big swim bait, throwing a top water bait. I got Drew just pitched behind us and he was steady getting bites. So decided right then we probably better um, put the power fishing down and get some bites, get a feel for the lake. Never throw the Hey, this might be this might be fish, first fish of the tournament. I think it is. Look at that Where the wind's blowing in on them. See if they ain't. See if this cool weather's got them. Oh, Nelly. That might be what we need to do. We're on the board, boys. We got us one. Yeah. Uh-oh, he hooked up. He hooked up. He good? Oh, fish landing violation. Not in the same league, boy. We good here. First bass. And he weighs 147. We're going to lock him in there. Numero uno. On the board. We're on the board, baby. Me and Casey, we ain't playing with y'all. Yes, sir. I don't see any bass on the board. I threw like two times, and then Lee, he flips. He made like two flips with like a flipping bait, punching. And I look over, and he locks up. I mean, like doubled over and I'm sitting there and I'm like is it big is it not big and I seen the fish jet right in front of the boat and I said oh my gosh giant that's a bigger than five yeah baby oh! that's a freaking giant <laughs> oh my god <laughs> Every person in the lake heard us within the first 30 seconds of fishing. Started off the day with a seven pounder. It was pretty awesome. Probably one of the coolest bites I've had in a while. I think people are gunning for us at this point because we're kind of the loud mouse that, you know, not necessarily the new kid on the blocks, but just we're, we're the ones talking a lot of crap. Were you asking if we were going to yell earlier? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Holy crap, dude. Oh, man. Dude. Uh. We, we might be punching. I got an extra flipping stick. Oh gosh. That's a, that's probably a six sport. No, he's gotta be seven. Come on, be, be seven. Seven, be seven pounder baby. in the boat, first five minutes. Seven. This thing is pretty much sealed up. 7.18. We'll show it to the scale. 7 pounder. Unbelievable. Hey, we're on our way to 35. Where's the challenge? They're fish. You throw a worm out there, they eat it. That's it. Big whoop. We didn't shook everybody up. So I see Jacob way over there. He cranks up. As soon as we get that bite, he starts cranking up, start easing over. And I said, here he comes. He already knows. He wanted to come over and see what we were doing. That's what he was wanting to do. He don't know that I know that. This man knows what he's doing. This ain't his first rodeo. Okay, so the, the whole strategy behind this is, is you want to get one early. That way we can beat him out the back. So I'm literally trying to catch a bluegill while boys are real on the main town. Bro. I'm, you know, hey, it, wait, whatever. Yep, there we go. All right. I went in here real quick here. My grandmother fishes like that. You know, I can't, I can't blame the guy. I can't knock the guy. 
So Wheeler hands me the pole, he's like, watch over. Throws it out there. I'm sitting there looking. I said, Wheeler, your cork's upside down, dude. Listen, let's yeah. not mess this up, y'all. It is a bobber. I don't care if I rig it upside down, it is what it is. I've caught a bazillion bluegill on this bobber with the red showing up. I can, just because I have better sight than most of America and they're using the white up, it doesn't mean anything. It just means that like at the end of the day, like I like, I can see red better than white. So no, it really, I, I just didn't know. <laughs> Me and me and Mark have never been on the place. We just going. And there goes Wheeler. There goes DC. They just taking off. They going to them feeders is what they going to. The rascals done been out there practicing. They knew what the deal was. And sure enough, we ease on there. I'm throwing my chatterbait, but I can't get back in those little corners of the cattails. And it's not three flips in. I'm yeah, not looking, but I just hear the crack of the whip and I feel the boat rock. And Casey back there tied up on, I mean, a good one. Oh, oh. I just seen the reed shake. Ooh. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Get him, get him, baby. Yes, sir. Oh, I ain't got him yet. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, got him, man. Let me, let me help you out. Let me help you out, partner. 341. Lock it. I think we had a limit in like the first 30 minutes, just catching little ones. And then we finally went down this deal. He was catching them on chatterbait, and I caught a big one flipping. He caught a decent one on a chatterbait. I caught another big one flipping, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, this is the deal. These boys right here is in trouble. All right, y'all, listen up. This is what we're gonna do here. We got some baby backs in St. Louis. What I like to do is skin the membrane, grab me a little keystone. Now this is simply just for ba literally adhering the rub to the ribs. We're only gonna get moisture. I patted these down, got them dry. So what I like to do, on top of drinking this good stuff, get a little wetness going. And what you do is, Get them wet, because again, I patted them dry. I want this flavor in there. I like light beer, I do. Just like in beer can chicken, anything with Keystone, I just like it on it. Not too much of the hot. You don't want to, again, that, y'all see that right there? That's just enough. You don't want to be sweating while you eat. So look, let me make this completely clear. So if you rub it, let's see, the palm of my hand's gonna make it roll. Y'all see how inconsistent if you rub, so again, let me fix this. Let me show y'all what you properly do while you have that wet keystone light on there. You push it in. You push it, set it in, so you're not rubbing and making it inconsistent across that rib. You push it in, you set it like the song Salt and Pepper. Push it, push it real good. Anyway, yeah, y'all know what's going down. That's her. <laughs> Pretty steady throughout the rest of the day, honestly. I think uh, just kind of traded paint, caught some upper twos, threes. Um, Justin lost probably a five or six pounder. Two eighty four. I was just hoping not to lose another, but uh, when we got it in the boat, I, I just I started thinking back. I was like, I got here. I mean, I came down here when I found out Lee was coming because last time Lee fished against me, I put him into retirement. Hearing some word about some pretty big fish caught out here. I, I think oh Ashley had a last we checked now, this is an hour ago. You had 17 pounds in one boat, you had 20 pounds in another boat. I mean, the hunt is on. <laughs> when I tell you that sucker right there not slacking, we'll do it. There we go, yes, yeah, huh? Look at you. Yeah. Unreal. That's a dang good one. Woo! I did notice there were two pros in one boat, and there's no pros in our boat, but our hopes are high. 
They're very high because this is Pond Wars. Oh, Nelly. Golly. That might be what we need to do. It's almost like you're under them grass mats. There is a team with two professional anglers. One, two. And I got Michael Pitts. Somebody ate a banana and threw the peel in here. And there's no superstition that a banana in a boat is not a good thing. And that might be what's causing this heartache. You reckon that's what undid our trolling motor boats? It could be. It could be the trolling motor boats or the no fish or the wind. I didn't catch fish at all. Uh, it's a bad day. Martin was covering the ground very thoroughly in front of me. And I didn't have any option. It wasn't my fault. I mean, he was covering all the bases, hitting all the little pockets. He's an expert flipper, and I'm just a dipper. <laughs> Anyhow, Martin catches a big fish, so the boat's all excited. We got literally a TV crew right over here filming us. I mean, it's epic stuff, and Martin calls for my assistance, and I come up there, and uh, I grab the line, and the fish got off. And Martin oh, was mad. Oh, there we go. He done tried. That's a dang big one, son. Pitt, get over here. Yeah. He committed the cardinal sin. He grabbed the line. Don't grab that line. Son of a Gosh. Gosh. Oh, oh. That was my bad. Go ahead and slap me. What'd I say? Don't grab that. <laughs> Do not grab the line. Can't stress that enough. Ever, never, ever, ever grab the line. Oh. I don't think I should touch it. Don't let me touch it. We'll be all right. All right, guys and gals. Before we go check on all the boys out there fishing, I want to show y'all something about the brisket real quick. Before I do the basin and rubbing down, all right, I've already patted it dry, again, to get all the dang, all the stuff that was in that plastic packing. Now I want to go ahead and dab it off dry. Now, right here, if you can see the brisket has a grain, it goes like this, me to y'all. When you get done with this brisket, after it's done resting everything, when you slice a brisket, I don't care if it's perfectly cooked, if you slice it with the grain, it will be tougher than the bottom of my boot. So again, you always gotta slice it against the grain. So that means raw before I even do anything to it. Here's your grain running this way. Here at the very end down here, I like to score it against the grain. So after it's done cooking, you put the rub on it. And again, for the folks at home that can't see that grain after it's done cooking, you got a little score mark there so you know to slice against the grain the whole time after it's done cooked, rest and everything. That's so important. I can't emphasize that enough. Put your little score there against the grain and you'll slice that brisket every time perfectly. Keystone. All right. Now for the now for the basin or hell, the adhering process. I get a keystone light. Just a little dab and a little swig. And you gotta have something that really adhere that seasoning to this meat. And today, we're gonna be adhering with what we're drinking on, and that's Keystone Light. Down there on a the pellet smoker is where your most heat comes from. So y'all see that fat cap? Fat cap down. I'm gonna use the fat cap as a protective layer to protect my lean. So when the heat comes from the bottom, it's gonna hit the fat cap first and protect my slices. All right, Barbecue Nation, let's talk spritz. Then put the brisket in the rib zone. You can see the storm has settled here. But again, you got to have moisture when you're cooking. So what I like to do, get my little spritzer here and do my dang this. I don't need no dang fun. We'll see what we can do here. You want to get it where it's a spritz. There you go. Nothing like Keystone. Look at that sun. Nothing like Keystone light in the dang sun. Woo. We're just going to get natural coloring. And we're going to get flavor of good old Keystone light beer which we're already drinking in the equation. It's a beautiful thing, the best of both worlds, drinking it and spritzing with it, hot dang. It's a winner, winner, chicken dinner, but we'll cook chicken later for dinner. 
Wind's blowing, it's cold, sun's coming up over the trees, starting to get a little warmth. Think the fish might start biting a little bit. They don't. Peter just went off Martin. Jacob gonna beat us to it. Where is Jacob? Right over oh, there. Oh, him up a little bit. Tighten it up, we're gonna tighten it up. Okay, let me, let me slide back a little. Did you see how fast that was? It's like... That's impressive. It's seriously such an honor to be even share a boat. Like, I mean, there was times this morning I was like, man, I'm literally sitting with the bass. So I was just trying to pick his brain. I'm not a nowhere near professional fisherman, so I'm soaking up everything he's saying. So I, I heard Matt was a little scared of snakes. I freaking hate snakes, okay? Like, throw a tarantula on me. Freaking snake, I'm out. Holy crap, bro! No. Oh. <laughs> 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 you can't even do that. God, oh. you got me. Oh. <laughs> hey, I'll say it. Sorry, they told me I'm sorry. Okay, everybody's probably got a big bite today. We've got to capitalize and get one in the boat. And um, it was getting late. We had like 45 minutes left, and a lot of people had shifted to that end of the lake that we wanted to fish on. And uh, I just felt like the other end maybe had settled a little bit and that pressure hadn't been up there. So I told Jurassic, let's make a move. We go up, I start flipping down a bank and we make the bend and there's a perfect lay down out off the grass sticking out there. And I was like, all right, I know what to slide up there. So I picked the power worm up, make a cast right down the trunk of the tree and gets out to the end and get the bite. And um, didn't have a clue it was gonna be a big one. They were all biting so hard, two pounders to, you know, the biggest one we called all get it really good. Break him off. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> <Let's go>. Woo! <laughs> there she is. <laughs> Catching that, I felt like we at least had a chance because I felt like every guy out there was going to at least get a six plus pound bite today. But I knew we had good quality to go with it. And so, I don't know, I, I felt good about it, but when you're fishing against Jacob Boiler and Dustin Cannell and Mark Daniels and Casey Ashley, I mean, all of them guys catch them there and you know, they capitalize. That's, that's the thing, we all get those bites. It's just on who capitalizes and I've done lost one today, so. And I don't know what it is, but something about Justin and I fishing together, there's some sort of mojo that goes on because whenever I'm with him, he catches giant fish. All right, y'all, we're into 15 minutes. It's getting tight. Final countdown. All right, Matty Ice. Dela, where you at? Doing it, baby. You put him on there. I'm about to smash it. Third cast. Third cast on jerkbait. Third cast, we're about to smash. <laughs> <laughs> They're in trouble. Right, I got A lot of weight, son. Easy. God dang. Ain't worth it. Mm. What's our smallest? Fishing's done and I'm ready to eat. Fat boy gotta eat. That's all I care about right now. I've been skunked. I didn't catch fish. I just want to go home. It's the final count. Da -da -da -da. Da -da 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 -da. What now, boys? Ain't nothing laid over though, you know? So like nobody's gonna fish over here or what? <laughs> it looks like a good spot, I ain't gonna lie. If I was a fish, I'd be right there. I know, I know Matt's gonna get us a big one. I got it, keep on fishing. Hey, you ain't gonna catch him with no line in the water. 
308. Oh my god. Good job. Yeah. Uh-huh. 5.26. All right. One minute. Come on, man. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it, boys. Well, That's it. we almost gave it a told. Last, almost some last minute we <laughs> We gave it the college tries, all I gotta say. So we're rolling back up to the boat ramp. We we put together a pretty good bag. I feel like it was a tough bite and we got a big bite that could put us over the edge, but I don't know. We gave it a good run. Yeah. I didn't fish real clean. Um, I hope that don't end up costing us winning today, but nothing else. I enjoyed fishing with you again, dude. Hey. We caught a bunch of fish. It's an awesome day. Caught some good ones too. Solid, I'm talking about, fish. hey, how many days would you like to come in with this, the five we got? Every every day? Well, hey, we you gave went, it a good I, run. We did, man. We gave it a good run. We did. We I did. really thought we were going to land that big one, and that's, I feel like we won't fish away. Man, I think, we, I think we're right there. You just never know. We're going to have to go in and we'll see what's happening. You know, I mean, obviously, you, you hear them boys hooping and hollering, but I, I seen some boys hooping and hollering for two, two pounders, too. <laughs> All right, y'all, time is up. We've been cooking over here. We, me, I've been cooking over here. These guys have been out here going at it right here for the last four hours, but that's it. The scales are coming to me. I'm about to see who's won this thing. And uh, it's going to be tight. The hunt is tight, but uh, we're about to get a winner here at Pond Wars. Not good. Not good at all. <laughs> Everybody's kind of looking around, got the game face on, trying to figure out who pulled this off, because we don't know. We literally just turned our scales in. We don't know. Come on, man. Who's like the who's got that confidence? Who's like one? Jacob man? Wheeler, man. Wheeler Dela. Wheeler Dela. Setting a hook and lock. <laughs> all right, fellas. Well, being I'm not an angler at all, as y'all know that, obviously y'all can probably tell the lack of calluses on his hands a little bit. But I gotta ask a question. What was y'all's biggest factor y'all had to fight out there? Obviously it was wind, but are there other things that come into play with something like this out here today? My partner. <laughs> we, we had to fight with Wheeler just making laps around this place. Hey. Stirring up the lake. No, I'm just trying to get I'm just trying to get Is that how he sabotages y'all out on the circuit? That's how you do them out there. He ran over my line two or three times. Wheeler, <laughs> Dela. I love it. Menace to society. I done told you that. I done told you that. Ah, dang, that's all right. Well, hey, Matt, did you uh, you teach uh, Wheeler Dilly anything in the meantime? Hey, I really did. You did? Hey, you no, did. He you. taught me how to rig a bobber up. He's rigged See, I didn't realize I, I, my whole life I've rigged a bobber with the red part up and cracked them. Whoa. Should you, whoa, should you be admitting this right now with cameras right Red up. <laughs> red up, I swear. All right, all fellas, right. let's get down to business. Third place, Casey Ashley and Mark Daniels Jr. All right. But not a bad, not a bad Damn. place. Hey, we held, we held hey, it down. Hey, you get one thumbs up. That's it. That's what you get. 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 Right before he called out second, I was like, why are you looking at me? Don't look at, don't look at me. And he sure enough called my name out. All right. Second place at number two. I like the rhyme on this team. Lee and DC. Yeah. All right, dang, hey, and guess what? You get two thumbs up. Oh, I, you get it, you get it. He, me and Lee got called out for a second. I said, no, nah, y'all got a discrepancy right here. This ain't gonna work out. And the winner of Pine Wars, Justin Atkins and Drew Carroll. Let's go. Congratulations, big dog. All right, hey. Atkins and Carroll. Woo! Pine Wars champion. Grand champion. Congratulations, boys. Thank you, thank you. Congrats, seriously. Blind squirrel can find a nut every now and again. He was feeling good about himself. We just <laughs> put that back in the dirt. Yeah. That belt. I mean, should we act surprised, Justin? I don't, we've never not won together, so really not surprised at all. This is probably one of the coolest trophies I've ever got and uh, it was at an awesome event. You know, come out here and having Pond Wars was a lot of fun. And, you know, the bragging rights is awesome, but hanging this in my shop next to some of those other trophies is gonna be one that I just, 
All right, all right, well, one more thing. We got one last thing. One last thing before we wrap it up. Now, it ain't for y'all. Y'all done one, you got your glory, but this is for the ones that came in dead ass last. I ain't talking last. I mean dead ass last. <laughs> oh, Pitts and Martin, my fave team, my team. What we get? Oh, you gonna like this, boys. <laughs> Put that on the mantle, boys. Put that on the mantle. Dead ass last. A little, just a little bump, just a little bump, just a little bump. A little bump. Hey, hey, but I almost forgot something. You know, we beat Wheeler. But we didn't even know this trophy existed, but I'm glad we didn't get the dead ass last trophy. That is the thing. It was pretty cool, but I'm glad I don't have to tote it around. This is my first top five in a fishing tournament. But it's last. We got a bobblehead donkey, but it's not the head that bobbles. If you know what I mean, it's the ass. All right, guys, I want to say thank y'all. It was a pleasure watching y'all do y'all's thing. Y'all the best at what you do. Time for me to do my thing. I hope y'all enjoy the meal. Let's eat. All right, let's check some ribby dibbies. They've been fishing. I've been cooking. Ooh, boy. We got them gator tails looking good right there. Mate, this is what it's all about. Good times, good fishing with good buddies. Ain't nothing like it, y'all. And I tell you, there are sometimes there's gonna be winners, there's gonna be losers with competitions. But on days like today, everybody wins. And you better believe we're gonna be doing this again. Because this is Pond Wars. And we will redeem ourselves by the end of the day. That's all I gotta say. I'll go lay in a bed of hay. What do you say? No, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. No, says I. Y'all know I done had a heart attack. Uh-uh. Woo! That's dirty. Woo! <laughs> about did it. You about got a, a good blooper. Were there any hacking or any going on with the Redo that. A grass pan that we're talking about. Uh, uh, but I, I can't deal with clowns and antique furniture. And you're looking good. Thank you, man. I don't know where you're going to play golf or go fishing. <laughs> <laughs> Dustin Atkins, uh, the guy from Swamp People's here. I'm actually thrilled to meet him. All you kids out there listening, the nipple goes on top of the bobble. Oh, oh, Hydrilla Gorilla. We're talking. My hoopty tailpipe dragging, heat don't work. Girlfriend nagging, one hub cap, cause three got stolen. No, hey, I'm from West Point. Sure. I'm talking just real like this. In here. Ooh. I'm like. Hog. <laughs> And you went ahead, Pond Wars is Justin Atkins. Justin Atkins, Drew Carey. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. <laughs> Pond Wars, Justin Atkins, and I forget your damn Carol. I'm back. Atkins and Carol, you won the damn thing. <laughs>